it is currently 1.51 on November 11th, 2011, and we are currently in the Letterman Music Building on Ball State's campus. And I'm currently with Joey Naramore. And I'm going to ask her a few structured interview questions. Uh, the first one was, what was your path to the academy? Um, I was currently working um, over in the Teachers College um, when that job in the academy came available. And um, I thought it would suit me for that time because my, my two boys were real small. And I was able then to be home for the summers because that job allowed me to have like the month of June and July off. Mm -hmm. And um, I thought it would be a good fit, and, and um, so I applied, and so I tried. Yeah. Yep. Uh, do you know what year that was? I was afraid you were going to ask me a question. <laughs> um, I can look up real quick. Right. And what aspects of your work at the Academy have had the greatest meaning for you? Uh, definitely working with the, with the students, trying to get them um, prepared for um, everything they had to do to apply for college. Is there a specific instance that was particular fulfilling? Like you got a student into college they really wanted? Or um, no, I don't. I don't recall a specific um, situation or scenario, but um, they. Uh, it was all very rewarding because um, you know these students that um, they were able to apply to so many different places. Um, you know some of the bigger schools and the you know the more, most more prestigious schools, and just seeing them you know get their acceptance letters and all excited and happy about that and their scholarships you know some some of the kids got some really really good scholarships and um so i just think just the whole thing was 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 rewarding not one one particular mm -hmm. instance okay. what do you wish you had known about the academy before you began working there um you know i really <laughs> i really don't know if there was anything that I didn't know. I'm sh I mean, I'm sure there's. I mean, there were several things I didn't know, but nothing that st stands out that that I wish I would have known prior to working there. Okay. How did the social dynamic of the academy compare to that of your previous workplace? I'm sorry. How did the what? social dynamic? Um. Well, I was in my previous positions on campus. I primarily worked with faculty and um, college students. So um, going to the academy, um, I, I was able to experience that high school atmosphere, which I've never, you know, I've never worked in a high school mm -hmm. before. So I had worked, you know, going from a college atmosphere to a high school uh, atmosphere. Um, um, they, the, the just this the whole social life of course is different and different than the normal high school as well because this was obviously a residential you know high school they're living right there on the on the campus so um i got to you know really um especially where our office was located you know our loc the location of our office was right coming out of the of the the boys mm -hmm. um living quarters so I got to see them on a daily basis, you know, the same, usually the same kids every day, mm -hmm. you know, sometimes in their pajamas or whatever, <laughs> but, um, you know, so you get that really relaxed environment where, mm -hmm. you know, you, you know, they're, they're just every day doing their normal everyday things and they stop in and say hi and come in and talk. And I really enjoyed that. Um, I really became, um, close with some of them. I mean, they really came in and, and talked and shared their stories and what was going on um and sometimes it just became a hangout i think for yeah. some of them where they would just come in and sit down and talk and chat and then someone else would be walking by and they'd see you know their friend in there and they'd come yeah. in and sit down and talk and <laughs> so it was 
it was very, um, it, it really made the days um, fun. You know, it wasn't like just, you know, oh, I got to go to work, you know, because mm -hmm. when you went to work, you know, it was, even though it was work and I was helping these kids, um, it was fun just to, to be able to get to know them on a more personal level like that. So, cool. Uh, how do you think having worked at the academy has affected your future? Um, I always, I remember when I, when I actually put my letter of resignation in, the one thing, well, there was a couple of things I would always take away from that. And um, I learned so much working in that office, just, you know, things that would benefit me and my kids for when they're ready to go through that process of applying for college. And not only that, I learned that um, preparing for college begins way more before your junior or senior mm -hmm. year. Um, you know, you have to um, build your high school I don't know, resume, resume, as you would call it, you know, early on, like your freshman year, um, being involved in, in sports or the clubs and, you know, holding maybe a position in a club and then doing your, your um, uh, community service and making sure you, of course, you get your good grades and you know, I learned the different types of scholarships, the merit scholarships as opposed to the financial scholarships mm -hmm. and, and how hard people had to work to get for the, you know, the merit scholarships. But so um, I learned that um, I would really, you know, I'd be able to apply this in my own life because that's things I was never taught mm -hmm. when I was in high school. I mean, never. But I mean, I, we did not have a guidance counselor that would, um, and I think it was for, I mean, I don't, I don't think it was just our high school. I think it was maybe that time that, you know, they just didn't go out and help you find scholarships. Or, I mean, mm -hmm. we, didn't, we didn't help. We helped you. We, we provided so much information at the academy, mm -hmm. as you know, where you can go and look for scholarships. And um, I just, we didn't have that help when I was in high school. So I had no clue, no clue that there was that many scholarships available. Mm -hmm. And I also didn't realize in, in high school how important your high school uh, how important your high school classes are and your grades are and all that in order to get into a good college and can I ask you why you decided to leave the academy um just got a, a I mean if you want to look at, at the university I guess mm -hmm. you would call it a promotion I mean you have to to apply yeah. different jobs at, at, at different pay pay raises and pay levels and so I my reason my children were older and they were in you know, then I didn't really feel like I needed to be home with them as much mm -hmm. in the summertime. And so, uh, what unique qualities do you think the academy possesses? Um, everybody at the academy, because they, you know, you know, live there in the dorms. I think those students they become very close, um, and everybody knows gets to know everybody, you know, even though it is for a short time, you know, you're only there for two years and you only get close with one class and then, I mean, other than your own class, yeah. I mean, you get close with the juniors, with the seniors, and then when you're a senior with the juniors, but I think that, um, that's a good quality for those, those students. Um, the academy is very accepting of all different types of students, and so I think that, that is a very good quality as well, um, and of course the academic academics that they offer. Mm -hmm. uh, do you know, did you notice any characteristics of the students? Um, you mean, like, are there any overarching characteristics that everyone had, like maturity level or? Um, I would say that, I mean, they were all very unique to them. You know, they're not, mm -hmm. they were very unique. I mean, different, different, you know, students coming all over from Indiana, and um, um, I, I guess there wasn't anything that really, um, there were just all, all kinds, all different types mm -hmm. of students. You know, you had your, your, those who were, you know, involved in the sports, and those who were really, you know, more artsy, and mm -hmm. those who just did their academics or whatever, you know, so I don't think anything, um, out of the ordinary than any other high school. 
Um, what was one of the most eccentric things that you've ever seen while working at the academy? <laughs> oh, wow. Um, eccentric? Um... Centric things, seen or heard or yeah, anything. Um, there was there's some stories. I mean, <laughs> I don't know if I should share them. <laughs> um, if there's a story that I could not sh- that I could share. I mean, I don't have a lot of them, but there's some. some um, I mean, you would see the students, the way they dress is pretty, some of them, the way they dress is pretty eccentric. Um, um, I don't know that I can actually recall one, hmm. one particular instance, though. Okay. Um, is there anything that you would change about the Academy if you could? Um, Well, I think, well, I mean, this isn't, there's, there's things that aren't actually, I mean, possible with the academy. I mean, I, I always felt, oh, if they were my kids, I don't think I could send them away yeah. from me for two years. You know, the two, you know, two of the, yeah. their last remaining years at home, I could never do that. Um, but I don't think there, you know, there's really any way around that if you wanted, you know, if you felt like your student wanted needed to go to the school. Um, you know, so it's not like they can just build it right out and, you know, go close yeah. to you in your town. If, you know, if you want to send them two hours away, that's something you would have to sacrifice. Mm-hmm. Um, and then tearing them apart from, I mean, it, now that all depends too. I mean, some students who come from huge high schools, um, for them to come to a smaller school, you know, that might be something that 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 they are, they're looking for, where you know some kids who are already in a small school going to a small school, you're carrying them away from their their home and their friends. But I guess that's the choice that they make. Um, I guess that's just a personal opinion, you know. Yeah. That I wouldn't want my kids so far away from me if that's yeah. you know reasonable. Yeah. Um, but. I don't know how they do are doing things now um, with room and board if you have to pay. I know at the time that I was leaving, I think they were going to start pay, charging um, for a little more for room and board or whatever. I don't know how that, that ever came out, but I don't, you know, if that is the case, I would probably think that would be something that I would want to change. But. Yeah. Uh, do you know how much it was when you were there? I have no idea. I don't remember. <laughs> no clue. <Okay. laughs> um, how has the Counseling Center, the Academy, changed over the years? Um, if at all? I don't know how it is now, mm-hmm. so I don't really know how it would have changed from the time I was there to now. There, was there any new policy implemented during your time there? Was it pretty much? I think it was all the same as from when I came in. There wasn't any, anything new. And okay. um, how would you describe your position there? Yeah. Um, I worked closely with the college counselor, Mm -hmm. so a lot of times the students would come in to see me first. Um, A lot of times I would be, you know, I would help them um, with their application processes and with their financial aid and all that. Um, And I, um, we did events for the students. Um, We took the students on college visits um, and um, I coordinated the um, college visits that came to the academy, the mm-hmm. college um, recruiters that came to the academy and um, I guess that's, yeah, that's all. <laughs> um, have the number of recruiters changed over the years? Or have there always been about the same number each year? Um, there's normally the same amount each year. Same colleges that would come and mm-hmm. then we'd 
typically held the same college visits each year. You know, IU or Purdue or um, Notre Dame, we went. Um, so. Great. Uh, what was the goal or purpose of the CCCC? Um, we were there to help help the the this the senior well the juniors and the seniors through their their application process. Um, we were there to um, guide them through it so that they you know had somewhere to some central resource that they could go to if they had any questions on on what they needed to do. Hmm. Yeah, I know some of these overlap. Hmm. Um, how have the, were you in charge of convocations when you were there? Um, only the ones that pertain to our office. And what kind of convos did you have each year? Um, I'm trying to remember um, a lot of these questions. I had to really think back because it's been yeah, a long time. I understand. Um, at the beginning of the year, we held one that introduced all the students to the to our, our office um, and um, what they could expect from us and what we, we expected from them as students. Um, you know, we, we tried to let them know that we were there to help them and they needed to utilize us. I mean, there was only was so much that we could do. We needed to mm -hmm. get the kids. I mean, sometimes there are students I didn't ever, you know, I never got to know, you know, where other students I saw all the time, whether or not they came in and utilized our office or whether or not they just keep to socialize, you know, but um, there were some students we never saw. So, you know, we tried to, to, to make them aware that our office is there, you know, the juniors in the beginning, that our office was there and what, you know, what we were there to help them with. Um, then that was, we held one at the beginning of the year for the juniors and then we held one at the beginning of the year for the seniors um, because now, then that, once they became seniors, they were, of course, at a different time. I mean, mm -hmm. the deadlines, that's why I've been really busy times, as it came to us, because we were different times. A lot of okay. I remember the beginning ones. Yeah. Okay, now. I'm going to make um, I think, because I probably would have been the one scheduling those. So I'll be kind of... Okay, every, um, even though yeah. I don't believe that you were seen to me, if I remember correctly. Academy has gotten over me. Like, um, I didn't put um, uh, her together on, you know, complication and all that. So, I really know. Pretty much just steady. Yeah, I think.